All right, so inside of this video, I'm gonna talk about exactly how to make your wife happy. Now, what do I mean by this? How do you make your wife happy? Well, a lot of you, and me would just think, well, you just buy a shit. You just buy her some flowers. You know, you get her a nice message, you buy her a handbag. That's gonna make her happy. The reality is that's only a quarter true. Yes, you need to buy things, but that can't be the only thing. Otherwise that feels empty to her. And for years, I didn't really understand this concept. For years, I'm like, hey, just tell me what you want. I'll do it. Like I'm a simple man. Like wifey, tell me what you want. Let's do it. Why do you have to make things so hard? And as men, I truly believe that we're so completely wired from women. We're just completely wired in a different manner. And for us, it's like shit so basic, shit so simple. What do I want to do today? Well, I want to work, I want to make some money, I want to hit the gym, I want some food. Those are literally three things that I think about every single day on, on what I want. And I don't want anything else to mess that up. And so when my wife comes and I meet Kerry and we're sitting there and she's like, hey, like she throws spanners in my world. Right, she throws spanners, she throws these things. Hey, I'm feeling a little bit bored today. Hey, can we go shopping? Hey, can we, like, I would love to travel somewhere. She throws these amazing spanners. And not that she's a woman by any means that's like picky or choosy. And I mean, I've had plenty of those women that would just go, I'm bored, nothing can satisfy them. Kerry is amazing. But even then, she's still a woman. And so a woman, really, the, the best quote that I could come up with, and I read this somewhere and I can't figure out who wrote it. It was a quote that says, men want two things. Men want power and men want pussy, but women want everything. And if I can go back and share some experience and some light that you need to understand as a man and what I have actually come to, to accept as a man is that women want everything. Women would say they want this. They want a home. They want stability. They don't want to go out. They just, they just want some, some consistency. And then women would say they're a bit bored and that they need a holiday. And then women will say, oh no, look, I just want to be a mum. I just love looking after my kids. And then on the flip side, women will say, hey, like, I, I, I feel like I, I need to start my side hustle. And then on the flip side, they're like, oh no, I need to build a business. And then on the flip side, they'll be like, oh no, I need, I need, I need everything. And like, th th there's so many things that they'll say that contradict what they said the previous day or the previous week. And that's the essence of this. The essence and the understanding is that women want absolutely everything. They want left, they want right, they want different pieces at the time. And for a long time, I had no fucking idea. Because when Kerry was like, hey, no, I just want to like buckle down and work. And in my mind, I'm like, fuck yeah, we're going to buckle down and work. We're going to spend six months working. We're going to wake up. We're going to have our routine so set. We're going to be working 16 hours a day. And like, in my mind, I took that literally. And I'm sure that if you're a man, you're just like, yeah, that makes sense. Like she wants to work, let's fucking work. And then the reality is, no, what she's really saying is, Lynn, I'm feeling a bit like... I need to have a little bit of work in my life so I can feel the significance in my ability to, to produce stuff. But I still like my lifestyle as well. And I still want to go out time to time. And I still want to have my treats and I still want to go watch a movie. And yes, I'd love to travel there. But what I literally heard was, Lynn, I want to work. This is the reality in first understanding how to make women happy is that you need to understand the differences between a man and a woman. And as, as men, I believe that we're quite simple. Like we are generally quite simple. We are, we take things quite literally. Like, do you want to work today? Yep, I want to work. That's very simple. Okay, you said you want to work, let's work. As a woman, it's like, hey, no, my feelings change. So I'm, I'm, I, my feelings change. I, I said I want to do this, but I now want to do that. And it's okay because that's just how they're wired. There's nothing wrong with them. It's not that they're incongruent. It's just they're emotional creatures. They're a lot more emotional than men. And it comes in as a gift later on. Everything can life comes in this like weird dichotomy it can be a gift and it can be a curse for women their emotions can get the best of them so they can't handle high pressure situations but at the same time the emotions allow them to connect and be the best nurturers and the best friends and and literally the best listeners and the best therapists in the world like some of the best therapists can be women some of the best people at kindergartens like nurturing kids are women like i would not trust a man sitting down there to play with ocean or atlas like my kids why? Because I just know that they don't have that nurturing bone, that, that emotional uh, stability, that if they're crying, like anytime I hear my kids cry, there's just this thing that I just want them to stop. With women, I'm like, hey, like, Carrie, the kids are a bit loud because it's ringing in my ear because I'm thinking about work. And she's like, what do you mean? She, she, it, it doesn't affect her. And it's a gift that's also a curse, depending on the situation. It's all situational. So like my ability to stay quite, I suppose, stoic and quite like directional, quite, quite grindy helps me. 
it helps me inside a business. It helps me move forward. It helps me like get towards the goals, target, chase the things down and hunt. But at the same time, when it comes to life and experiencing life, I'm like, well, shit, I need to switch this part of my brain off because it doesn't let me experience life. It thinks life is stupid. It thinks life is chaotic. It thinks life is a nuisance. It, life gets in the way. And yet without life, what's the point of living? I'm literally a machine. Without life, what did I do all this for? And so what I need you to understand first is actually and what I, what I needed to understand is that women are different from men and it's completely okay. Women are more emotional. They're a gift and they're a curses based on the situation. So going back to how do you actually make your wife happy? Well, I truly believe this. I truly believe you can only give something to someone that you have, okay? You can only give something to someone that you have. I can't make Kerry happy without myself filling up my cup. As I fill up my cup, and I've, I started to learn to fill up my cup. I need to do a bit of work. I need to play a bit of sports. I need to make sure I eat well. I, I need to make sure like I give myself like time to recover and like feed myself with things and have some of my own me time so that I can start to feel like I, I, I can give that to her so that I can encourage her to do the same for herself. And for quite a long time, I didn't actually give myself time. It's only been a few moments since I started playing tennis. I started to get some recovery time with like ice bars and go to this recovery center where I can sit in an ice bath for four minutes, hot tub for four minutes, get some cryotherapy, get some like compression legs going, actually give myself some me time. And in that moment, the craziest part is every time I give that to myself, it makes me want to give more to my wife. Every time I hit a ball on a tennis court on Wednesday nights, I come back and I feel so full and I'm like, I'm, I wish Terry could have the same. Because we're both parents battling it out in this world. Like trying to build a family and trying to like raise kids is one of the hardest missions and staying aligned together. Like trying to live together, it's one of the hardest missions that her and I are embarking on. And so the more that we're aligned to this, the more I feel like, hey, if I'm full, I can actually help her become full. But if I'm empty, guess what happens? I start to feel empty inside. I start to go, hey, like, I didn't get this. Why are you going out shopping? I don't have the luxury of going out shopping. Why the fuck do you get to go shopping? And there's only so much that I can give until I snap, until I start to go, wait, you have too much. It becomes a game of like counting. But what I start to recognize is the more I give to myself and not selfish, the more I can give to earth for the family unit. And I know contextually this can be taken out of hand because I used to be one of those guys that just thought, ha, oh, this person is just doing self-love, fuck they're selfish. No, you need to be sacrificing all the time. And the reasons why I think this way is because I was built up, I was built this way by what I saw, my parents. I'm not saying that it's good or bad, but it's in this revelation. It was like, man, this game of sacrificing all the time, like taking away from yourself means that you're taking away from others. That if others try to give to themselves, you pull them back and go, hey, you can't do that for yourself. You can't do that for yourself because I can't do that for me. And because I can't do that for me, we're both fucking fucked, subconsciously. And so consciously, there was moments in time where I would give to Kerry because I, because I haven't given to myself, I would limit how much she could have. I was the judge. Like, oh, you, 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 you can only go to like one gym session today. You can only have 45 minutes. No, we gotta cap this. Cause that's the cap. Cause I don't get it. Therefore I should limit yours. What I'm sharing here is maybe something, you know, something so obvious, but it's something that I didn't know. Something that I didn't know in the sense that I didn't understand women. I didn't understand that it's okay that she wants absolutely everything. At the same time, she didn't understand men. She didn't understand my obsession to wanting to be more powerful to actually rise up the ranks as a man, to be viewed more as more important. She didn't understand my needs as a man for emotional connection with her. And also how much I needed her to want me. Like that's the two things that men want, to the two Ps, power and pussy. Like I want to feel wanted by her. I want her to look at me like I am the king, like I am desired, that she wants to bang me, that she wants to not just bang me, but emotionally be connected with me and just want me. At the same time, I also wanted power. I also want to be able to make money. I also want to feel strong. I want to feel powerful. These are just innate things that sum up men. On the flip side, women want everything. And it was my lack of understanding around this and her understanding of me that if we could just accept each other, we could literally just give each other what we want. And that when she would come in and tell me what she wanted, I wouldn't freak the fuck out to go, wait, yesterday you told me to want to work, but now you want to plan a holiday. What the fuck's going on? Wait, we can't plan a holiday and work. This doesn't work. And the second part to this equation in understanding who I am, who she is, is actually understanding that I, I will limit her if I limit myself. If I don't keep pouring into myself, I will actually restrict her from pouring into herself. I will place a limiter on her because I will go, wait, hold on a second, you don't get to do that because like I'm here and you look pretty full to me and therefore we have to like cap you. This is so game changing for me. Like in the last month or so, just having the ability to go play tennis, something that I loved playing as a kid. I'd played for like five years as a kid. I could never play from like 10 to 20 because that was like my studying years. My parents would go, no sports, right? Another piece that I want to get back into is like drumming. 
getting back into percussions. I used to play this as a kid and then my parents are like, nah, we're gonna cut that out because you need to study. That's what happens when you grow up with Asian parents. It is what it is. But now I've got the choice to bring it back in, to find that leisure in it. And as I find that leisure in it for myself, I can give that to Kerry. The question is, what are you gonna do for yourself today so you can make yourself happy so that when your wife does something, you don't feel resentful? What are you gonna do for yourself today so you can make yourself so full that you wanna give that gift to your wife? I'm gonna leave you with that. That is all I have for now. We'll see you on the next video.